What we have here is an example screenplay that we'll be using in this and other lessons. To see what it looks like in index card view, go down to the lower left corner and click that icon that looks like a number of index cards that are spread out. You can see that existing scenes are already converted into index cards. To create a new card, go down to the lower right hand corner of the window and look for two radio buttons. There's one for shuffle and another for edit. It's the edit radio button you want to select. And then select the uh, scene you want to be in front of. In this case we'll go up and select scene number 50, click in the large field, and a blue box appears to indicate that this is the scene that's selected and your new uh, card will go in front of this scene. So go down to the bottom toolbar, toward the left, look for the button that says Add. Click the Add button, a new card is created, and your cursor is in this field ready for the scene heading to be typed in. Pressing the Tab key moves your cursor into the large box ready for you to uh, type in. And uh, anything you type here will be taken into Screenplay View as an action description. Then once you go back into Screenplay View, you can reassign a style. You can make anything uh, that you've entered here a character name or dialogue or even a, uh, a script note. But what if you don't want to wait? What if you want to designate an entry as something other than action description right now? You can do that by using a few simple codes. To enter a character queue, proceed it with an empty line. So I'm pressing the return key twice to create the uh, empty line. Then I'll type in just name here to indicate a character name. Notice what happens when I enter a colon here. It uh, makes the uh, name all uppercase, plus it adds two spaces. I'm pressing the uh, back the uh, left arrow key here to uh, show you that there are two spaces following that colon. You need those two spaces there. And then on the same line with the character name, type in the uh, dialog that you want to appear. Following that dialog, you need a empty line, so press the return key. To enter a shot, proceed it with an empty line, so we'll press the return key again. Type in the uh, square bracket, two opening square brackets. Then uh, type in whatever you want to appear in your shot. And close that with the uh, closing square brackets. And this also needs to be followed by an empty line, so I'm pressing the return key again. To enter a script note, proceed it with an empty line, so I'm pressing the return key again. This time, enter angle brackets, two opening angle brackets, then type in whatever you want in your script note, and follow that with the two closing angle brackets. And this all has to be followed by a empty line, so I'm pressing the return key twice. To check our work, let's go back into script view, which means going down to the bottom toolbar, looking for the Done button, and clicking Done. You can now see that our script elements all appear just as we intended. If you remember, we inserted the new card in front of scene 50, so that new card would become scene 50. And here you can see the uh, word scene heading that uh, I entered into the field for scene heading. Down here is the uh, text that I entered without any of the code, so that was taken into this screenplay view as action description. Here's the placeholder we entered as a character name. Here's what we entered as dialog. Down here is uh, what we entered as a shot description. And here is the script note. Existing scenes can be edited in either this screenplay view or in the index card view, and you can go back and forth editing anything you entered in one view in the other view. There's one exception that I'll be getting to. To edit a scene as an index card, let's go back into card view. So I'll go down to the bottom lower left corner and click the icon for index card. 